Hey, basketball fans, welcome back to Tips and Streams, your go-to spot for the hottest NBA regular season predictions. I'm Kokan, and I'm here to break down today's matchups and give you the edge you need to make the best bets. Before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. Your support means the world to us. Remember, our channel has no sponsors and relies solely on the love and support of viewers like you. Even a small donation by pressing the thanks button under the video helps us keep bringing you top-notch content every day. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and fellow basketball enthusiasts. And we love hearing from you, so drop a comment below and let us know what you want to see in our forecasts. Your feedback helps us improve and bring you the content you crave. Let's jump right into today's NBA predictions. We've got some exciting games lined up, so stay tuned and let's get that winning streak going. Today, we have predictions for three NBA games. The first prediction for today is for a game between the Minnesota Timberwolves and Chicago Bulls. Tonight's matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the Minnesota Timberwolves has all the makings of a gritty battle. Both teams are coming off back-to-back -back games, looking to carve out some momentum early in the season. The Timberwolves arrived in Chicago with a respectable 4-3 record, though they've struggled with consistency, particularly on the road where they're just 1-2. That road record could play a factor tonight as they face the Bulls team hungry for a win. Minnesota's last game was an impressive 114-93 win over the Charlotte Hornets on November 4th. They were sharp from the field, shooting 49.4% overall and an eye-catching 47.4% from deep. Nasrib led with 25 points on efficient shooting, and Anthony Edwards added 21, continuing his role as Minnesota's scoring leader with an average of 27.3 points per game. Edwards and Rudy Gobert, who is averaging 10 rebounds per game, have kept the Timberwolves competitive, but the team has been inconsistent, particularly on the road. Minnesota's offense ranks 20th in the league, putting up 111.7 points per game, but their three-point shooting is a weapon, ranking third with 39.8%. Defensively, they allow 109.7 points per game, making them one of the tougher teams in the league to score against. Their perimeter defense is a standout, restricting opponents to 31.3% shooting from deep, a mark that matches Chicago's defensive prowess on threes. However, the Timberwolves have struggled against the spread, especially as a road favorite, making this an unpredictable matchup. The Bulls, on the other hand, are 3-5 and are eager to shake off a three-game losing streak. Their most recent outing was a 119-99 loss to the Mavericks, plagued by turnovers and poor shooting from three. Injuries have hit Chicago hard, with Zach Levine out, leaving a significant gap in scoring. Nikola Vucevic has been a steady force with his double-double averages and efficient shooting at 54.8%. However, Vucevic will need more support to snap the Bulls out of their recent slump, especially against a Timberwolves team that can be tough inside. Offensively, the Bulls score 113 points per game but struggle from the field with a 44% shooting rate, placing them among the lower marks in the league. Despite this, they shoot decently from three, ranking ninth at 36.9%. Defensively, the Bulls allow an average of 119.5 points per game, ranking near the bottom of the league. Their perimeter defense is strong, matching Minnesota's defensive numbers on the opponent's three-point percentage, which could be crucial tonight. A notable concern for the Bulls is their slow starts, often scoring few points in the opening quarter and having to play catch-up. To compete with Minnesota, they'll need to avoid an early deficit. Chicago's advantage on the boards, paired with Fusevic's inside play, could disrupt Minnesota's rhythm if they can lock in defensively. While Minnesota has shown strengths in shooting and perimeter defense, their inconsistency on the road and Chicago's grit at home make this matchup feel close. Historically, the Bulls have defended their home court well against the Timberwolves. Despite their recent struggles, Chicago's defense on the perimeter and energy at home could keep this game competitive. In the end, I'm not exactly sold on the Bulls, but let's face it, the recent history between these two teams speaks volumes. Over the last five to six years, the Timberwolves haven't managed to win or cover the spread in any of their last six trips to Chicago. So why would tonight be any different? Sure, the Bulls are on a back-to-back, -back and they're missing Zach Levine, but here's the thing, the Timberwolves are only 2-5 to five against the spread so far this season. I'm not comfortable laying heavy chalk with a team that hasn't proven much yet. The Bulls might be in a rough spot right now, but they've got home court advantage and recent history on their side. I genuinely think they can at least cover, but let's be real, this is a tough one to call. The spread here seems unusually wide, almost like someone's got insider info. Even so, I'm sticking with the facts we've got and going with the Bulls to keep it close.
Before we move on, I have a quick favor to ask. If you're enjoying the content, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing might seem like a small action, but it actually makes a big impact for us. Plus, it's completely free for you. Have you clicked that subscribe button? Awesome, thank you so much for your support. Now let's dive back into the video. The second prediction for today is for a game between the Utah Jazz and Milwaukee Bucks. Tonight, we have a pivotal face-off between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Utah Jazz at Pfizer Forum, with both teams eager to break free from a rough start. With each team holding just one win in their opening seven games, the stakes are high, especially for the Jazz, who are focusing on building a young core, and the Bucks, who face mounting expectations driven by their championship aspirations. The Jazz managed to end their six-game losing streak with an impressive 135-126 to victory over the Bulls, despite the absence of Laurie Markkinen, who's questionable for tonight due to back issues. In that win, rookie Kayondi George exploded for a career-high 33 points, with John Collins adding 28 points and a solid 15 rebounds. Still, Utah has struggled offensively, averaging only 103 points a game, with five of their seven games falling below this mark. Their defense, which was a weak spot last season, continues to struggle, giving up over 126 points in four games. Despite these setbacks, they've been strong against the spread in Milwaukee, going 4-1 to one in their last five visits. On the Bucks' side, things have been rocky. After an opening win over Philadelphia, Milwaukee has dropped six straight games, a startling downturn for a team with championship hopes. Coach Doc Rivers has remained calm publicly, but the pressure is mounting with every loss. Injuries to key players like Chris Middleton and Giannis Antetokounmpo have played a role, but even when Damian Lillard stepped up with a season-high 36 points, the Bucks fell short against Cleveland. Chemistry issues, especially with both Lillard and Antetokounmpo on the court, have raised questions about how well they'll mesh in this high-stakes season. Tonight, Giannis' availability will be crucial. He missed the last game with a thigh injury, but is expected to return, which could swing the momentum in Milwaukee's favor. If he's out, the Bucks often rely heavily on Lillard, but when both stars share the floor, the team has had trouble finding its rhythm under Rivers' new system. Some are already speculating about major changes if the Bucks can't turn things around, with whispers of potential trades if things remain bleak. Statistically, Milwaukee has a few things going for them, even in their current slump. They rank fifth in the NBA in offensive pace, which could overwhelm the Jazz defense that struggled to keep up with fast teams. With the Jazz ranking last in offensive efficiency, scoring just 99.8 points per 100 possessions, the Bucks, led by Lillard's 27.6 points per game, have a solid shot at covering the spread, currently set at 8.5 points. However, Milwaukee's defense isn't without flaws, sitting at 21st in defensive rating. This could allow the Jazz some room to score if they can replicate the three-point success they had against Chicago, where they hit 16 from beyond the arc. This strategy could keep Utah competitive in a game where they might otherwise struggle in the paint, especially if Giannis is back. Ultimately, Milwaukee has the edge, particularly with Giannis on the floor. If he plays, I believe the Bucks have a strong chance to cover the spread, relying on their depth and athleticism to overpower the Jazz team still finding its identity. Even without Giannis, the Bucks have shown flashes of potential, and with their backs against the wall, I expect them to bring intensity. This matchup could turn into a high-scoring affair with both teams pushing the tempo and defensive lapses on both sides. My prediction, I'm backing the Bucks to cover and leaning toward the over on points tonight. Welcome to BetUS, Sportsbook and Casino, your ultimate hub for secure and thrilling sports betting and casino gaming. BetUS is one of the oldest and most reliable online sportsbooks in the U.S., serving millions of clients all over the globe each month. BetUS, trusted for over 30 years, offers huge welcome bonuses, countless betting options, and many deposit and payout methods. Depositing funds is a breeze and safe, with a minimum deposit of just $10. Payouts are fast and hassle-free, beginning at only $50. Choose from various payout options like MoneyGram, Couriered Check, Cryptocurrency, or BankWire. Signing up is quick and easy. For signing up, you can use the link in the description and enjoy a generous 125% welcome bonus of up to $3,000. By signing up using the link in the description, you'll also support us as we earn a small commission from your registration at BetUS. Thank you for supporting us. Join now and start winning. The third prediction for today is for a game between the Portland Trailblazers and San Antonio Spurs. 
tonight. We're set for a showdown in San Antonio as the Spurs welcome the Trailblazers, and I think this one has the potential to be a back and forth contest. The Spurs are coming off two tough losses, including a stinging 127 to 100 defeat to the Rockets. Now sitting at 3-5, to five, they're eager to turn things around, but with Coach Popovich still up for health reasons, there's a noticeable gap in leadership on the bench. This season, the Spurs' priority is clearly on grooming their young stars, with Victor Wimbanyama leading the charge as the franchise's cornerstone for the future. Wimbanyama is already showing his promise, averaging 19 points and 10.3 rebounds per game. He recently bagged the league's top young player award, cementing his place as a rising star, though he still has room for improvement, especially with his three-point shooting sitting at just 22%. Alongside Wemby, rookie Stefan Castle has started to flash his potential, while veteran Chris Paul brings stability and almost acts like a coach on the floor. The Spurs' defense remains their stronghold, ranking ninth in the league's defensive rating, but their 20 turnovers against Houston highlight ongoing struggles in ball security and offensive rhythm. The Trailblazers, meanwhile, are coming off a solid 118-100 to win over the Pelicans, bringing them to the same 3-5 to record. Portland's long-term outlook is mixed. They've locked in big contracts for players like Jeremy Grant and DeAndre Ayton, putting them in larger roles as the team rebuilds for the future. Offensively, the Blazers are struggling, ranking 26th in field goal percentage and 19th in three-point shooting. This could be a challenge tonight against a Spurs team known for its defense. However, Portland has been scrappy on the defensive end themselves, ranking 12th in opponent shooting percentage, which has kept them competitive even when their shots aren't falling. The Spurs are on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, while the Blazers come in fresh, which might give Portland an edge in energy. But San Antonio's home crowd could add some extra fire to keep this one close. A key to watch will be whether the Spurs can hold strong on defense despite potentially tired legs, as Portland will likely try to push the pace early and test San Antonio's endurance. Portland will need to throw everything they've got at Wemby, who presents a serious matchup problem with his size and skill. If the Blazers can limit Wemby's paint presence and force more of those costly turnovers from the Spurs, I believe they'll have a real chance to string together back-to-back -to -back wins. Expect Portland to come out with intensity, aiming to capitalize on any fatigue they see from the Spurs. With both teams leaning on defense this season, this might look like a low-scoring game. But given San Antonio's fatigue factor and Portland's desire to push the pace, I expect this one could open up more than anticipated. My take? I'm predicting a higher scoring contest here, likely going over the 216.5 point line, with both teams finding ways to get buckets.